So next coming in at number six is From Rush With Love. Uh, this game released in 2005. Uh, it's basically, it was, a fir I think, the first third-person James Bond game. Quote me if I'm wrong, but I think it was. And, uh, you know, it was kind of surprising that they made it. I mean, considering the film itself came out in 1963, and, uh, you know, they have a lot of other stuff they could have made, but it actually turned out really good. Uh, I mean, for the most part, it kind of follows the idea of what the movie is. I mean, obviously, because they have to make it action-packed, they had some other kind of stuff uh, with it, like the jetpack and whatnot, which is intense. But uh, I think what really makes this game boost up higher on the list is the fact that uh, uh, Sean Connery actually did the voice acting. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, it also has, like, Sean Connery has the character in there, which is awesome. Um, and, I mean, old Sean Connery has probably the most epic voice other than, uh, you know, his younger days. I think his old... Sean Connery voice is intense, and that's kind of the voice you hear. So it's really awesome uh, in that sense <laughs> that I put it high up just because of his voice acting. But, uh, yeah, I mean, they modernize it, of course, a little bit, because, I mean, they do have some old stuff in there, but, like, the weapons, you can, like, find secret ones that are, like, super OP, which uh, is pretty intense. Um, they also added a few extra characters in there just to you know make it a little bit more intense they had uh some uh boss bosses that be uh in some heavy armor that'd be tough to break down um which is pretty fun i mean <laughs> the running though was a little weird because his jog was a little awkward but uh besides that but i thought third person was actually really cool it kind of gave you more of a tom clancy feel uh made it more stealth like um i thought in that sense it was really cool uh, you can do a lot of different stealth things, um, which I think the games for James Bond nowadays kind of lack the stealth. I mean, there's some stealth, but it's just third-person stealth is a lot more epic than first-person. I don't know why, but it just is. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a pretty good game. I don't believe there was any multiplayer to it, uh, but the single player was fun enough to play a few times. So uh, yeah, from Rush With Love. Next on the list is uh, number five, which would be Agent Under Fire. This game released in 2001, I believe. I mean, it had multiple releases because it uh, hit GameCube and Xbox and PlayStation 2. I had it on the PlayStation 2, but I also played it on the GameCube. Uh, pretty fun game. Um, the gameplay is, is all right, I mean... This might have been my first... No, it's not my first James Bond pickup, but probably the most fun I had uh, up to that date. Um, it had a lot of different weapons. I mean, the story mode was pretty intense. I mean, when you're young, you don't understand what the hell is really going on. You're just kind of playing, but uh, as you got older, you kind of understand what the story mode is. I mean, it's a little weird, but... Um, story yeah <laughs> I don't know now that I'm thinking of it I don't know if I like the story that much but uh it was more the gameplay the gameplay was really fun um also it, they didn't have an actual James Bond actor as their character it was just kind of a random guy and a random voice so in that sense it kind of killed it a little bit but I still put it up here because I put a lot of time into it because it was pretty fun you had jetpacks you had the Q claw you had a lot of different gadgets. I mean, there was some decent uh, car gameplay. Um, some of the characters were pretty fun. Um, and like, uh, if you did good on missions, you uh, if you got like gold on a mission, you get like gold pistol, or you could get like unlimited ammo. Like you'd be rewarded for doing actually good on the mission. So in that sense, it was good playback. I remember. I think the most played mission I played. Actually, I don't know if that was this game or not. I mean, I probably played the first two levels of this game the most. <laughs> I mean, I did play through the whole game, but the first two missions were really fun. Infiltrating the base, 
probably memorized every part of that mission and then uh, being in the, the car getting away blowing everything up is really fun uh, also multiplayer I played a lot with my brother uh, they had this one map where like there's a train station and this VIP would come out and me and my brother would have uh, like little games of trying to protect or kill the VIP so uh, in that sense it was good memories good times otherwise we'd play uh, some multiplayer maps uh, just be jumping around on the jetpack trying to kill each other um, but yeah good times uh, next on the list coming in at number four is everything or nothing uh, definitely well deserved top four came out in 2003 and 2004 on multiple consoles uh, I think I played it on Xbox and PlayStation 2 uh, with my good buddy Ustra me and him were always playing this game I think he got it first and we played a lot I don't know we switched off quite a bit and played it we probably beat that story mode a lot of times but uh it has Pierce Brosnan, it has John Cleese, it has G. Dench, it has all your good voice actors uh, from the normal films. And, um, I mean, it had a really good story mode. I mean, using nanotechnology as terrorism, I mean, I think they could actually make this into a movie. I think it'd be pretty intense, uh, except for the fact that uh, <laughs> it had Jaws in it, which, I mean, is awesome. But... Um, in the sense that they already had Jaws, unless they really want to bring it back, but I think they'd probably kill it trying to do it because there's only one Jaws. Um, but I think uh, I think that's the only old references they have. Otherwise, it's all new stuff. Um, like I said, really cool, really awesome Bond girls, awesome story. Um, played it many times. I mean, everything about the story, like you had. Bond gadgets. You had like explosive penny, and I remember me and Ustra just throwing these pennies at people and then them exploding. And I think the train mission was uh, our most played one. And if you played this game, you'd know uh, you're on this train. And what we'd always do, we'd pick up a wrench and we'd throw it at this guy, and uh, he'd come over and he'd find his buddy lying dead on the ground next to a wrench and he'd be freaking out, and then we'd throw another wrench and hit him. And then uh, you get to battle Jaws later on in the train. And I mean, it was a really fun game. Good story, good gameplay, good gadgets, good guns, good car gameplay. It had it all. It was great. And then um, the multiplayer was all right. But really, it was the, uh, the co-op that I thought separated it from others. I mean, that was the first time it actually uh, like let you do co-op. And you do co-op missions with uh, your buddy on split screen, and uh, that was really fun. That that was a game changer, I thought, in it. Um, which I probably this game I actually don't own. I lost it when I had it on the PlayStation 2. I'm probably gonna try and get it for the Xbox to see if I can play it on the Xbox 360 because it is a lot of fun, and I'll probably get it for like a dollar on Amazon. But uh, yeah, definitely well deserving. Fun game. Uh, but now on to the top three. 